Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll talk about Algebra 1, Review Part 5. So today we're going to focus on completing the square method. If you have never heard about completing the square method or factor, please check out my YouTube playlist called Math Factor. Um, it has all the information that you need to know, okay? All right, so let's solve one problem. So example one says solve by completing the square. You have x square plus 4x minus 7 equal to 0. Okay. So we want to solve this uh, quadratic equation. What does that mean? Uh, it means this, uh, this equation represents a parabola and we are actually looking for the x-intercept. Okay. Or roots. All right, so the question is, how do you solve it? So let's let's talk about the coefficient first. So uh, it's a quadratic equation. So I can write this as ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. We need to know our a, b, and c. Our a is equal to one. Y one because there is no number in front of x squared. B will be equal to positive 4. C is going to be equal to negative 7. Just be careful with the uh, negative sign. All right. So now the question is, how do you solve this problem? So let's try. So I have x squared plus 4x minus 7 equal to 0. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to move that c to the other side okay so i want to get rid of that negative seven how can i get rid of that negative seven i'm going to add seven to both sides so what's going to happen this to cancel each other out so we have x square plus 4x equal to seven all right so so far so good now what you want to do the next step is you want to look at your b value okay so our b value is equal to four so what you want to do with your b value you want to divide by two and you want to square it okay and you want to square it so that's going to give us two uh that's going to give us two square. That's going to be equal to four, okay? So this four is actually the magic number that we are looking for. So what we want to do with this four, okay? We want to add this four to both sides of this equation, okay? So let's do it. X square plus four X plus four um equal to seven plus four okay again how did i get that four you look at the b b value you divide by two and you square it okay so b value divided by two and square it that's how we got four now what we did we added four to both side now let's take a look what happens now this side we don't want to do anything we want to leave it as it is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to 7 plus 4 is going to be 11 wonderful now let's take a look now let's take a look at the left hand side okay so that's giving us x squared plus 4x plus 4 so you can actually use your diamond method to factor uh to factor this side okay you can use your diamond method to factor this so let's use the diamond method so what goes on top the c value goes on top the b value goes in the bottom which is also four so i need two number if i multiply i'm going to get four but if i add i'm also going to get four so what are those two number positive two and positive two okay so once we do that we just have to have x so x plus two and x plus two will be the answer okay 
so now what we want to do okay let me use a different color so I just applied so x square plus 4 x plus 4 can be written as x plus 2 times x plus 2 this side we have 11 so leave it as it is well x plus 2 times x plus 2 can be written as x plus 2 whole square equal to 11 all right so far so good so we applied the diamond method we factored it out now x plus 2 times x plus 2 can be written as x plus 2 whole square that's equal to 1 so now um, the question is we want to solve for x right so we want to get rid of that power 2 how can we get rid of the power um, the power 2 we can take a square root of both side okay so let's take square root of both side square root x plus 2 whole square square root of 11 one thing be careful here that whenever you take square root um whenever you take a square root and if you have a situation like this right you should always include plus minus sign okay you should always include plus minus sign so what do i mean by that so let's say if i have x square equal to 4 x will always be equal to plus minus square root of 4 okay you should always include your plus minus sign just an example just an example okay so don't forget to include your plus minus sign extremely extremely important so the radical sign and the power 2 they cancel each other out so we have x plus 2 equal to plus minus square root of 11 uh, so we don't need that positive 2 how can we get rid of that positive 2 we can subtract 2 from both sides all right so this side this two cancel each other out so we have x equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 11 okay again do not add or subtract uh, square root of 11 with negative 2 they are not like terms so leave them as it is okay so write x equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 11 do not write this as plus minus square root of 9 okay so all right so one last question so what does it mean what does negative 2 plus minus square root of 11 mean it means x is either equal to negative 2 plus sorry negative 2 plus square root of 11 or x equal to negative 2 minus square root of 11 okay so this is what it means so we are actually done okay so let's review the process one more time it's a lot of work so we want to solve by completing the square method the first step is find out your a b and c value then what you want to do you want to move the c to the other side okay once you move c to the other side you're going to look at the b value you're going to divide by two and you're going to square it whatever number you find you're going to add it to the both side okay plus four plus four you're going to add that number to the both side of the equation okay then simplify apply the diamond method factor it out you will get something like this x plus 2 whole square or let's say x minus 3 whole square okay it, you will always get something like this like x plus minus uh, something then raised to the power 2 equal to some number okay and then the last step is you want to get rid of that power uh, how can you get rid of the power take a square root of both sides don't forget your plus minus sign and then you solve for x so that's all you have to do okay let me know if you have any question